Now we are into the segment where we have to solve the trigonometric equations. Look at this third question here. We have to solve within this first uh, revolution to find, to solve this secant x that is equal to three. Now remember the rule is same that your equation can only have sine x, cos x or tan x. So now you must have learned that the, the secant x reciprocal is basically cos x. If I write down the reciprocal of left hand side, I have to write the reciprocal of the right hand side. Okay. So the reciprocal of secant x is cos x and the reciprocal of three is one over three. So uh, we have cos x equal to one over three. We have a positive cos value. We know that cos is positive in these two quadrants. Okay. So please use your calculators, keeping your more than degrees. Tell me what is cos inverse of one over three. Yes. Cos inverse of one so over is 70.5. It is 70.5. Okay. And this is 70.5. This is 70.5. So uh, now you say that your X is going to be 70.5 or one eight, uh, sorry, 360 minus. 289.5. Yes, better. This is 289.5. Okay. So we have these two values. Uh, these are the two solutions for this uh, 3A. Okay, try some parts from here. You can solve this uh, question number four, four parts in a similar way. Uh, the only difference is that the things are here, they are in radians. Okay, guys, uh, I'll give you time to practice this. I have to move on to this uh, uh, question number five. Does anyone remember what is special in this fifth question? Hmm? So the what period is... will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Let me do that. Uh, this um, five a. Now this is your x is between zero and one eighty. Yes, better you were telling me something about this. The period changing here. Hmm? So the period will be multiplied by two because okay. it's two x. Why, why do you have to change the period here? Hmm. Yes. Because of this composite angle 2x over here, okay? Your uh, trigonometric equation should have a simple angle in, it, angle in it. So first of all, we'll say, okay, let this 2x is alpha. The equation becomes for secant alpha, I, I can see that this 1.2 means 12 over 10, that is going to be six over five, okay? I am writing this as a fraction because I have to write its reciprocal. Uh, we have introduced alpha into our equation. We need to give its, um, uh, its limits. If your X is between zero and 180, then your alpha has to be um, between zero and 360. Remember, we have done this in our A1 trigonometry. Okay? These limits are going to change accordingly. You put the lower limit zero here, you get alpha is zero. Then you put the upper limit 180, so you, you get your alpha as 360. So um, this cosecant alpha was six over five. Can I say now my sine alpha is five over six? Okay, so sine alpha is five over six. We know that sine is positive in these two quadrants. So tell me quickly, what is sine inverse of five over six? Yes. 56.4. That is 56.4. So I need to write it here. I need to write it here as well. So my alpha is going to be 56.4. And then 180 minus this. This is 123.6. Yes? Sir, we will do that now. Okay? Uh, we will do that now. Okay? So we were looking for the values of x. 
we have taken this 2x as alpha. So your x is going to be alpha by 2. So these are going to be your answers, but uh, one is going to be 61.8. And this one is going to be um, 28.2. So these are the two values, the two solutions of this equation, which was cosecant 2x equal to 1.2. So again, uh, you have to uh, write your equation in terms of sine, cos, and tan, and your equation should have a simple angle. Let's try a question from this sixth, apart from the sixth uh, question. Uh, Let's try this um, C part, okay? Let's try the C part. The C part says uh, we have, uh, please change your calculator's modes into the radians quickly. We have X between zero and two pi. Oh, you guys, first of all, this is the problem here. We need to tackle this. We don't like this composite angle here. So we shall say, okay, let X plus pi by four is going to be alpha. So this equation becomes cotangent alpha that is equal to two. So where you have to mention the limits for the alpha, you put the lower limit into it, which is zero. So the lower limit for alpha is pi by four. And then you put the upper limit here, which is two pi. So this is gonna be two pi plus pi by four. That is nine pi by four, okay? And I should write the values in decimals. Uh, so pi by four is, hmm, that is 0.785. So this is 0.7. I just keep that in my mind that my answers have to be uh, within this limit. Okay, and the upper limit over here is going to be, uh, which is nine pi by four. Okay, so this is uh, nine pi by four, and this is 7.067. So I need to have my answers within these two limits. Oh, okay, guys, this is cotangent alpha equal to two. I will change that into tan alpha equal to one over two. Your tan is positive in these two quadrants. Okay. Let's find the tan inverse of uh, this shift tan of half. This point four six four. Yes, but show 0.464. So can I have my first value as 0.464? Be quick. Can I have my first value 0.464? Huh? No. no, because you know, this is the lower limit. It has to be between these two values. So this cannot be my first value. So this would be my first value here. Um, so this is pi plus this. So the first value I have that is 3.605, okay? And then I should like, you see, I have taken this as my first value. And then I'll consider try seeing that if this can be my second value. Let me find this, this is two pi plus, okay? And that is 6.745. Can I take that 6.745? Yes. Yes, sir. This is still within the range. So these happen to be the only two solutions for this tan alpha equal to half. Uh, since we were looking for this X, okay? So my X would be alpha minus pi by four. So you subtract pi by four, one by one from them. Uh, so luckily I have the calculator with me today. So this is one of this is five point. This 
radians should be correct to three uh, significant significant figures. Okay, and this is. Uh, uh um this one is what is 3.0 3.605 3 2.82 okay thank you Vera. this is 2.82 so these are the two solutions for this equation we keep our lesson up to this see you in the next segment but sure